Hey guys, I decided to do a very impromptu uh, vlog today because I planned out my recipes for this week and I came up with something that I just always die for. So if you're from Chicago, I don't know if you've gone to RPM um, Italian, but I love pasta carbonara and I, being gluten-free and super healthy most of the time, um, love their gluten-free noodles, so I have tried it there. But I decided to do my own little twist this week. So I've been very into trying new things, if you've seen my vlog, I've talked about uh, next week I'll be posting that I've done some stuff with spring rolls. Um, it may not be pretty, but it tastes really good. So I decided this week that I was going to do something special at home and I was going to make a uh, paleo-based noodle. So uh, the zucchini noodles I did not make. I made butternut squash noodles to add a little bit of sweetness because I'm adding red pepper to the carbonara sauce that is made with coconut milk. So it's gonna be fun, um, bear with me here because I'm actually gonna start the coconut milk to melt. I also added, if you know me at all, um, you know that I add vegetables to a lot of stuff. So I've got broccolini in the oven that I'm also going to be um, slowly roasting and then cutting up to put it in with the pasta to add some green to it. So very exciting. Um, but let's get back to uh, the, the piece de resistance. So a lot of carbonara. Um, all of it has an egg, so we will be doing eggs on top, but most carbonaras have bacon. And honestly, I have nothing, nothing against bacon. I'm just gonna spray these for the eggs. But I do, however, like to add seafood to a lot of things. So I decided this week, and these little guys are just so much fun to play with. I know I shouldn't play with my food, I'm supposed to be a lady, but these are little lobster tails. Ooh, hello! And I'm going to crack them and put them in the oven, and then I'm gonna chop it up and put it into the pasta. So the best steps are, the cool thing about this is honestly, this takes, it's very low maintenance, even though it sounds kind of like dressy and foodie and fun, um, because the noodles only need to be slightly sauteed if you want them warm, and then they're done. The eggs take three minutes to do, and then the sauce is basically just melting the full fat coconut milk and then adding the rest of the ingredients, which I'll walk you through in a second. But the troublesome part is, so you just buy a lobster tail, and then all you have to do is go take a knife from the tail and then crack, crack it without stabbing yourself, up until the front. Now, these are a little slippery. Got it, okay. There we go, got the front, because you want to pull the skin out so that it cooks. So, we got it. Now, you'll see me as I pull the skin. So we're gonna pull the tail open so that it cooks all the way through. So that is easy. So you're going from tail to the back of the tail to the front of the tail on the lobster. And this is in the oven, it'll be in the oven at 350. And I do roughly, it's roughly 10 minutes. And um, I will just spray it with a little bit of oil, but you don't even really have to if you don't want to. A lot of people use butter. Um, sometimes these things come previously frozen and that's fine. Um, so they're gonna have a lot of water and hydration in them anyway. So you really don't need to have oil. So then my second piece is done. Yay! And these lobster tails are going in the oven. Say sayonara to those babies. Bye. Um, I've got the coconut milk going here. You just want to make sure it's on low so you're not burning it, but you want to be able to simmer it once we can put the Parmesan cheese in. Then there's minced garlic, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, um, and at the end, we're gonna add some parsley. So simply, it's just one cup of full fat coconut milk. I do a little bit more garlic than most because I'm a garlic fiend, but you know, you can definitely, you get away with a big clove. Put that in here. I am going to mince it right into the pot. So easy. Bye bye garlic up. Bye bye garlic up. Okay, I do a little spice. So a couple dashes of red pepper flakes. Then I've got a tiny bit of sea salt or Himalayan crystal salt and actual pepper, a couple dashes of that. No problem, all done. And then here, I've got half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So we are going to just gently stir that all together. And you don't have to use like an actual spoon. I don't know why I'm using an actual spoon to be completely honest with you. A little out of sorts. I've been pretty sick the past few days. It was the best uh, 
anecdote I can tell you from this week is I woke up at 4.45 on Wednesday to go to the jam show at WCIU, which is one of my favorite shows. I get there and I, I literally had a frog in my throat and I'm about to go in and I'm just like, bah, bah. it just, I sounded very, very funny. So make sure this sauce simmers as I'm going through. So the best order to do these things is I tend to make the sauce uh, first. I'm gently heating these noodles because you've got to wait until the lobster and the broccoli's done. So I put the broccolini in a little bit ago and it should be roasted now. So again, the broccolini, depending on how thin it is, and you can see this, it's at 350. I just want it to be slightly soft. I don't want it to be totally brown. This is what it looks like. So I put that in the oven at 350 for roughly like 10 minutes. So if you put that in the same time as the lobster, I did a little earlier for these purposes so you guys can see me. And then I'm grabbing, let's grab this fork. I'm gonna take the broccolini off the tray and I just use a tiny spray of olive oil to cook the broccolini. Did not need more. And I put this over here so I can get to it. Whee! Take this. And to put this in the sink. All right. Now we're going to chop, 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 chop. All the while, while I'm watching my sauce. So again, you don't want it to burn. You can always turn it down so that it's just at a simmer. Same with the noodles, just wanna watch them. So, I'm going to chop some broccolini. And sometimes with the broccolini, like I'll just kind of chop the tops off, but I like to keep all of it into the pasta because it's more to chew, it's fun, it's healthy, it's seriously like one of my favorite flavors in the world is this broccolini. And don't be confused with broccolini and broccoli rub because broccoli rub is a little bit more bitter and not the same flavor profile. So it may not be, sometimes I feel like people tell me it's kind of like a, you either love it or hate it type situation. So we roasted the broccolini, we're waiting on the lobster. We've got the noodles warming up. We've got the sauce at a low simmer. And then the last step that you're gonna do, once you plate the noodles, pour the sauce over the noodles, then mix up the broccolini and lobster into it after you've chopped the lobster and taken the shell off. Then you're going to cook the eggs and put the eggs on top as a piece de resistance. I'm gonna get my bowls out. I use my, uh, my pasta bowls, which is very fun. So I'll put these in front and then I top it with a little bit of parsley. And this is literally, uh, if you don't wanna use Parmesan cheese, you can use nutritional yeast and make this completely paleo. And that is really fine. Uh, zucchini noodles would be um, on the lower carb version of that. But right now, because I sometimes just speed along my stuff, and this is actually what I'm eating for lunch today. <laughs> I'm very excited. I am going to put in the broccolini into the bowls that I'm making. And I reserve some of the stock if I don't want to have a lot of stock in it. There we go. Take the extra pieces of stock, throw it in the garbage. And then I am going to do what I do best. And that is taste everything while I'm cooking. Make sure it's, you know, to my liking. So the sauce. Mm, that's very good. Mm, I'm into it. I am into it. And then I'm going to show you guys a final picture of what this is going to look like in the end. So don't forget to tune in to living underscore with Ashley on Instagram for our Instagram stories about recipes like this that aren't always gonna be in a vlog or a video. Uh, we hope you guys will tune in and we will see you later. I've got, I've literally gotta go eat this right now. Bye.